myself Chetna. I am from Amitak School of Arts and Science. My question to you, ma'am, is: During pregnancy, do continuous scanning affect the growth of the baby? Uh, actually, um, uh, scanning it has come to use uh, for uh, uh, more than 40 years, uh, but uh, there has not been any proven effect of scanning. Uh, on a fetus uh, that any harm can happen to the fetus by uh, scannings but long term effect on the baby has not been uh, studied so it is always advised to stick on to the number of scannings which your doctor advises and um, uh, actually speaking about ultrasound it is not a radiation it is a high frequency uh, sound wave okay, which hits your baby and bounce, bounces back and gives you an image so, uh, but when it is uh, done for a longer period, uh, it, they, it can produce uh, heat waves. Uh, but uh, you need not worry because the doctor who does the scanning does not keep the probe for a longer period of time over your tummy, that is more than 30 minutes. Uh, so, uh, no part of the baby will be exposed to the heat for a longer period of time. Again, the baby is surrounded by amniotic fluid and there is fetal movements uh, which disperses the heat. Uh, so, Doctor, how many uh, scans do you suggest or do you advise in a Usually, pregnancy? Usually, uh, in a um, normal pregnancy, when it's not a high risk pregnancy, um, uh, three scans is sufficient. Starting uh, when, Doctor? First one we do uh, at six weeks to uh, diagnose the cardiac activity and uh, next is done, uh, uh, when some doctors can do it at 12 weeks also when it's a high risk pregnancy to check for the nuchal uh, thickness um, uh, or else you can go directly for a uh, fifth month scan that is an anomaly scan and a term scan. Usually the anomaly so scan is done in uh, second, second trimester. Second trimester. Okay. Okay. So we'll see the next question, Doctor. Hi, ma'am. I'm Divya. I'm doing finally a BCom at the School of Arts and Sciences. My doubt is irregular periods are common nowadays among the teenage girls. Does the fast food habit have an influence on this? Um, actually, fast foods are very common. Junk foods are very common, uh, taken by uh, children, teenagers, and even by adults. It can result in uh, irregular periods because uh, fast food contains high amount of uh, uh, fat, sugar, and salt, and high amount of calories, which can lead to obesity, that is uh, increased body weight and which can in turn lead to irregular cycles. Um, again, um, this junk foods or fast foods, they, are, uh, they, they do not contain any proper nutrition. So this can also lead to irregular cycles and uh, nowadays there is a trend of uh, reckless dieting, uh, which can also among teenagers, uh, which can also lead to irregular cycles. Uh, doctor, when we say it as an irregular period or uh, irregular period? A regular period, uh, as I told you, is, um, it occurs every 28 to 30 days and uh, it lasts for uh, almost 4 to 5 days with a blood loss of an average of 35 ml and uh, she won't be uh, passing any clots or she won't be having dysmenorrhea, not pain, dysmenorrhea. Okay. So this is a normal period okay. so, like, uh, and she will be bleeding uh, in the first two days, almost 70 percent of the blood loss will occur in the first two days of a periods. Uh, doctor, what are the usual uh, causes of the irregular periods? Uh, actually, um, same like I told you, obesity is one of the cause for irregular periods. So, uh, such patients when uh, they are obese, like uh, uh, when their BMI is more, uh, they have to reduce their weight to uh, come to uh, to attain their normal cycles. Again, uh, PCOD is another condition. Everyone will be asking PCOD is another condition uh, where there is irregular cycles or amenorrhea that is missed periods. Uh, so, these are the main. So, uh, how do you manage an irregular period? An irregular period, if it is a PCOD, we have to uh, treat the underlying cause like obesity. She has to reduce her weight and her periods can be regularized by again using oral contraceptive pills uh, for a period of six months. And uh, uh, there are surgical methods also uh, by which you can treat a polycystic ovary that is uh, called as ovarian drilling. 
um, but uh, this is only a last resort that is when just before she is planning to conceive uh, only we have to go for a laparoscopic ovarian drilling. But, uh, everybody says that when there is a blood drop or low hemoglobin level that can lead to uh, irregular periods. Is it true or not? No, it is not true. Uh, it's not like uh, if you have less hemoglobin in your body or less blood in your body, uh, you end up having irregular cycles. It's all, all based on your uh, hormones. So uh, it is not uh, regarding how much blood you have in your body.